A bulletin dated November 4th, issued by the Port of Port of Spain to its stakeholders and customers, explained that the port was experiencing an interruption in all areas of its operations due to an unplanned absence of the full complement of labor. Chairman of the Port Authority, Lyle Alexander, elaborates. The morning shift that uh, turned up for work uh, withheld their labor when, once they got in and um, did not provide the labor required to discharge some vehicles from a, a car boat that we have alongside and also some of two other vessels requiring um, discharging of containers. Alexander says the impact to the port's operations was significant. The other areas were impacted in terms of doing deliveries uh, for um, of containers, so we had to close the gate at one stage today as well. Weeks ago, when the workers downed tools, the Port Authority was forced to rely on the services of the TNT Defense Force to offload a cargo vessel, Asian Trust, as it ran the risk of significant delay at its next port of call. Did that happen at all today? No, it did not. No, it did not. And the circumstances are for, for and this occasion were uh, slightly different. And as such, that response was not uh, necessary at this time. The Port Authority states that it is concerned that the situation has reached a point where it is adversely affecting the economy. President of the Seamen and Waterfront Workers Trade Union, Michael Anasat, continues to accuse the port of making unilateral changes, citing the implementation of the signing of a disclosure form prior to receiving promotional notices. Another issue raised by the SWWTU surrounds wages, where a 12% increase was agreed to but has not materialized. Anasat makes a comparison using gantry operators who are responsible for taking containers off of vessels and loading them onto tractor trucks. A trainee in the Point Lisa sport is getting much more money than that of a registered worker in the port of the Spain. Obviously, that is a fundamental breach of the question of equal rights and, and um, equal pay and remuneration, Convention 100. The SWWTU also represents employees at the Point Lisa Sport. Anasat states that while workers at the Port of Port of Spain are prepared to collaborate in the interest of all at stake, they are drawing the line. We are not prepared to roll over and die and allow management or the government to do us anything that they want to. TV6 News has sought the port's perspective on the SWWTU's claims that the authority is failing to fulfill its obligations and honor its commitments amid the ongoing industrial action and dialogue. Is there a breakdown at this point in terms of the talks between the union and the port authority? The discussions are really based on the CPO's position and the union's position. The, 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 the discussions are taking place based on guidance from the CPO. Asked if the port has requested intervention from its line minister, Rohan Sinanan, the minister of works and transport, and whether he believes it is needed Alexander responds. I won't comment on the on any intervention or none by the minister. I'm aware that he, the minister is aware of what is taking place, and he, when, whenever he chooses to to intervene, he will. Alicia Boucher, TV6 News.